Hi right, guys, today we're going to talk about word problems for linear equations. And remember, a linear equation is an equation of a line. We've been talking about these for um, a few weeks now, and you will be getting ready to take a test this week. So this kind of wraps up what we're going to be talking about with linear equations. So the first thing is we're going to look at what we need for a slope intercept. All right, in your notes, go ahead and put that you can use when given a rate of change, which is your M, and a starting point, B. So if you're given a slope and a B, you can use slope-intercept form. All right, let's look at the first question. Evan is going to the county fair this weekend. The admission to the fair is $5, and the cost per ride is 50 cents. If his parents gave him $20, write and solve a linear equation to find how many rides he can go to. All right, so the first thing we want to do is find out what is our slope and what is our starting point. All right, so if a mission cost $5, we know we have to pay that even if we don't ride any rides. So we have to pay $5, that's our starting point. And then each ride cost 50 cents. All right, so we can start there and then build an equation. So if you remember your slope inter form, sorry, slope intercept form equation is y equals mx plus b. So we know m and b, so we're going to plug that in. All right, so for this equation, we're going to write y equals, we're going to do 50 cents times however many rides, you can use r, x, whatever variable you want to, and then plus the $5 to get into the fare. All right, we also know that his parents gave him $20, so we know he can't spend more than $20. So we can go ahead and substitute $20 in for our y. And then we can figure out how many rides we can ride. All right, so if we subtract $5 from both sides, that gives us 15 equals 0.5. 50 or 50 cents x and then divide both sides by 50 cents. So x equals I believe 30. Let me double check that. 50 cents times 2 is one dollar. One dollar times 15. But yes that is 30 rides. So what this says is that we can ride 30 rides, my pencil will write here, 30 rides for 20 bucks that we started with at the fair. All right, let's look at number two. While visiting Crimson Lake, Sally decided to go kayaking. The rangers charge $8.50 per hour, so that's our change, that's our slope, and a deposit of $25, so that we have to pay. She rented the kayak from 11.30 until 2.30. So let's first look at our slope and our y-intercept. Our slope is what happens per hour, so that's going to be our $8.50, because they charge $8.50 per hour. And then our y-intercept, that's our starting point, so we have to start by paying the $25. All right, so we're going to write y equals mx plus b, just like before. This time our m is 850x plus $25 deposit that we pay. All right, now it says write and solve a linear equation to find the total cost to rent the kayak. If we know that she rents the kayak from 11.30 to 2.30, that means she's renting the kayak for three hours. Okay, so if she's renting the kayak for three hours, 
Is that our x or our y? Well, we know that x is our independent variable, so we get to choose that. So we're choosing to run it for three hours, and the amount we pay depends on how long we have the kayak. So 850 times the three hours plus the $25 deposit equals um, how much that we're going to have to pay. All right, so if you do 850 times 3 and then add 25, you're going to get $50.50. Now, if you don't tear anything up, you should get your deposit back when you return it. But the total cost up front to rent the kayak would be $50.50. All right, number three, Alex bought a new truck for $42,935. According to the dealer, the truck will depreciate approximately $4,200 per year. So remember, depreciate means going down, and it's going to go down $4,200 per year. Write and solve a linear equation to find out how many years until the truck is worth $5,135. All right, so first we need to find our M and our B. Our slope is going to be what it depreciates. It's going to depreciate the same amount each year, which makes it a linear equation here. Depreciate means it's going down $4,200 per year. All right, the starting amount, the truck was worth or $42,935, or at least she paid that much for the truck. All right, so now we can write an equation. So y equals mx plus b. M is negative $4,200 in depreciation each year times the number of years, and then the starting amount was what the truck cost, or what you paid for the truck, $42,935. All right, write and solve a linear equation to find how many years. Years is your independent variable, so we're, we have the dependent, so we're going to use the dependent number here as what we want it to be the final value. All right, so... 5,135 equals negative 4,200x plus 42,935. All right, that's just a comma there. All right, so you need to subtract 42,935 from both sides because we're trying to solve for x, okay? We want to get x by itself to figure out how many years we need to do this. So subtract 42,000 from both sides. When you do that, you're going to get negative 37,800 is equal to the negative 4,200x. Still trying to get x by itself, so now you're going to divide both sides by the negative 4,200. And when you do that, divide negative 37,800 by negative 4,200, you're going to get 9. So that means after 9 years... Alex's new truck will then be worth $5,135. All right, number four, if you buy a car wash at the gas station for $6, the cost per gallon is $2.35. That's per gallon, so that's going to change. If you have $40, write and solve a linear equation to find the number of gallons of gas you can afford. All right, so we're going to start with six dollars. So we're looking for our slope and our y-intercept. If we know we're going to pay six dollars, we know we're already going to spend six dollars. That's our starting point, and that we know each gallon of gas costs two dollars and thirty-five cents. 
All right, so we're still using slope-intercept form. So y equals mx plus b, where in this case, our slope is our amount for a gallon of gas, $2.35 per gallon. X will be the number of gallons. And then $6 is what we're starting with. All right, if we know that we have $40 to begin with, I can say that $40 is the most that I can spend. So that is my dependent variable. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is subtract 40 from both sides. Sorry, subtract 6 from both sides. So you're going to subtract 6 from 40. So 40 minus 6 is 34 equals $2.35 per gallon. Let's divide by the $2.35. And X is going to be around $14.47. So that means we're going to get almost 14 and a half gallons. So we're going to get 14.47 gallons of gas plus a car wash for the $40 that we have.